So the question was, does a client tell an agile consultant what they need or does it work the other way around? I think it works the other way around, but I think it's more complicated than that because lots of clients come with an agenda. So quite often you come in under a particular agenda, but the mark of a great consultant is you are trying to deliver the maximum value to the customer, right? So you have to figure out, regardless of what they've asked for, what is it that they need for for them to be successful in whatever it is that they're trying to do? Or even is the thing they're trying to do the right thing that they're trying to do? And then slowly convince them to do the right thing. So I guess it depends how long you're going to be engaged with the customer for, what that really looks like. I'm quite often engaged with customers for a short period of time. Um, most of my engagements with customers have either been over uh, 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 two or three weeks. That's generally, they want advice. They're like, we want to understand how we do something and I'm coming in, giving them advice and then they're taking it forward. I'm not, not working with them to do it. But I've also done longer engagements, but usually for professional services teams where I'm working with lots of different teams inside of their organization. So it's like I'm internally consulting with lots of different teams. And I would come in and help, observe, give them some feedback, usually working with their Scrum Master. So when when they come, they want a particular thing, right? They want to, um, usually actually they want to get better at this Agile thing. But that's not necessarily like getting better being awesome at Agile, what value does that provide the company? What value does it provide their customers? It's not necessarily the right thing, but that's what they ask for because that's the trend, right? So you quite often come in under that, that, that guise, but then you've got to figure out what is it that this organization actually needs? Is it, is it, is it a, a, a leadership um, issue where you need to focus on um, that, that, that whole engagement pipeline that they're working through? Um, I did an engagement recently with a professional services company and they were, they'd built up this, this, this great business and it was, I, I, I have a weird name for it. I, I call it the death spiral of consulting. Um, and it's, it's where you get a little bit too big, um, and you need to feed the monster, which is that your business. So you have very aggressive sales tactics. You've built a great name in the industry. You have very aggressive sales tactics. You bring in um, uh, 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 more, you have to hire more people to get the gigs done because you've got these aggressive sales tactics that bring in lots of gigs. And then you need to do them now and you've got more gigs than people. So you have to hire more people. And because you have to hire them quickly because you've told the customer you can do it, you're not waiting for the top tier candidates. You're getting the people that are available and then they're doing the gig. And then you need more gigs because you've now got a bigger headcount and more people. So you have more aggressive sales tactics, get in more gigs and then, oh, we, all our people are busy. We need to hire more people. And then even those level of people are not available. It's the next level down. And you end up in this death spiral of taking on too much work when what they really need is a whip limit, right? They need to control their sales pipeline. It's not a free for all. It's a, what can your business safely handle to deliver the level of quality that your customers are looking for? And I think this is true, not just for professional services. This is true in any business. What is the level of quality and brand and uh, 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 um, visual that you're trying to get from your cust for your customers? And what's the maximum amount of business you can do while safely maintaining that? And then you wanna grow slowly while maintaining that level of quality. So you're hiring the right people, you're um, engaging on the right engagements, right? You're not taking any engagement that comes along because probably any engagement sucks. You're picking and choosing which engagement at that level. Um, so I think most customers don't know what they want. Um, they think they want this Agile thing or this DevOps thing. 
and can you come and install it for us? But you have to figure out what it is that is the actual um, difficulty, the thing that they need help with, and help them with that, even if it's kind of surreptitiously or kind of around a different way so that they feel like and, and, and really do get value from what you're doing. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, follow and subscribe. I always reply to comments and if you want to have a chat about this or anything else, Agile, Scrum or DevOps, then please book a coffee with me through Naked Agility.